poppy seed, salmon, with a whole lot more. The recipe starts with the rub for the salmon, made with poppy seeds, Chinese five spice, black pepper, and kosher salt. Give that a little bit of stir, so we'll have that ready to go on our salmon before we sear it. I'm gonna be pretty liberal here with the poppy seeds. You get a nice crust, but I'm only gonna give it on one side so it doesn't overpower the fish itself. This is a uh, nice farm-raised salmon. Hot pan, Hot pan, cold oil, boom. That's right. We're gonna add this poppy seed crust side down. Give it a little shake so it doesn't stick right away. We're gonna let that sear for not even a minute, probably 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Just enough to get the uh, top, uh, poppy seeds toasted and a good sear on the fish itself. Flip the salmon over, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. To go with the fish, the chef whips up a tasty miso glaze, which he'll also use in his roasted vegetables. Use about a cup or so here of uh, miso paste. It's a yellow miso, shiro miso. You can get miso, uh, which is a fermented bead paste at pretty much any Asian market, and there's start things like that are starting to pop up in regular grocery stores. To that, he adds black and white sesame seeds. I'm also gonna add sesame oil. I'm gonna add about uh, half a cup or so of honey. Ooh, that looks like a good, rich honey. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice. This is the juice of one orange. Um, I'm gonna use most of it. You can tell it's freshly squeezed. I mean, look at the color of that pulp in and there. the pulp. And I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of soy sauce. Nice, give it a little salty yeah, characteristic. Nice, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna whisk this up here. Chef, that looks absolutely incredible. Now, the roasted vegetables. It's a combination of sweet potatoes, mushrooms, and red pepper. The sweet potatoes are blanched ahead of time, and that's the secret to getting them evenly cooked in the saute pan. Go ahead and add the sweet potatoes. Those nice shake. Good flipping skills, chef. I like that. I'm also going to add the cremini mushrooms now, so that way they get a nice roast on the outside. And with the high heat, you get the sear on the outside, but the inside of the vegetable still retains its vitamins, nutrients, and uh, keeps it a real nice, fresh, original flavor from the earth. That's what you want to do. Keep the heat on, keep it high, have your pan hot. Now I'm going to add a little bit of shallots, diced shallots. Good foundation for any dishes, flavors, along with garlic. I'm also going to go ahead and add the roasted red peppers. And a little bit of fresh herbs which uh, this is actually fresh rosemary, fresh thyme, and parsley, fresh parsley. Add those in there. That's gonna give it a little bit of an aromatic to it, and it's also gonna add to the, uh, the presentation, the color. Next, I'm gonna finish off with white wine. Uh, basically, what I'm doing here is I'm deglazing the pan. And that's gonna release the flavors that are on the skillet as you cook. Then I'm going to uh, finish this saute off with a little bit of the miso honey dressing. We're gonna give this a little toss so the honey and the miso and all those other flavors are going to glaze and give the saute a nice luster and caramelize a little further. The chef also serves spinach with this dish, like none you've ever had before. I like to have mine grilled. It gives a nice smoky flavor to it. You wanna get a little bit of olive oil on there. You use a bit of black pepper bit of salt and toss all that together in the mixing bowl here so we get a good amount of oil on the spinach so they're not going to uh, dry out as much on the grill put this right here on the grill so just a quick grill go ahead and pull this off it's got a good wilt on it we're going to take our nice sauteed vegetables with the glaze here now we're gonna add the salmon to the top of this pile Wow, that looks so great because I'll tell you what, that salmon is done to perfection. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of this miso glaze on there. Just get a little bit more uh, on the plate in case uh, you want a little more of that flavor going. And lastly, we're gonna add the grilled spinach with that nice green color on top. Now that's spectacular. What a great dish, Chef, and I love, it. again, you talk about the height, there it is. Nice colors, combinations, a lot of good stuff here. Great, good Thank job, you. Chef. Thank you.